So good morning and welcome. My name is Nancy Vaughn and this is our fourth annual symposium, The State of Our Water. And today I'm representing the Volusia Water Alliance, which is a coalition of organizations who monitor and care about the, the quality of our water and are working to spread the word throughout the community as to educate and, and help people understand the issues. Um, I would like to, and I'm, and I'm so encouraged to see so many people here who care about the, the quality of our water. Um, many thanks to the City of DeLand and the Sanborn Center for hosting us. We are very, very grateful. And many thanks to the members of the Volusia Water Alliance who've worked very hard to put this on today. So today I'd like to, or at this moment, I'd like to ask if there are any elected officials in the room, if you would please stand up. Say thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for your time and the attention to this critical issue. So uh, first up, our first speaker is Megan Martin, and she is from Green Volusia, and I will turn it over to her. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Megan Martin. I am with Volusia County's Environmental Management Division, and I coordinate Volusia County's Bee Floridian Now program. That's the pink table you saw out there. And I'm also on the Green Volusia team, which implements the county's sustainability goals. Today, I would like to share with you Green Volusia's community-based water quality initiatives. All right, so I want to start by telling you a little bit about us. Um, in a nutshell, Volusia County created a sustainability action plan in 2014. Green Volusia is a program which coordinates this plan's goals, uh, which includes the county's fertilizer ordinance. And Be Floridian Now is a collaboration between many different organizations, including Green Volusia. Uh, the logos pictured there are some of the organizations involved with this effort. Be Floridian Now is what's known as a community-based social marketing program, which is aimed at educating the public about nutrient pollution. <coughs> community-based social marketing is a tool used to change behavior. It applies commercial marketing techniques to influence a key target audience in a specific and measurable way. An example we like to give is that when you leave a room, you can choose to leave the light on or you can choose to turn it off. It's a relatively simple choice and can have a significant impact. The same principle goes for fertilizer application. Be Floridian Now is a community-based social marketing program aimed at encouraging homeowners to make a behavior change away from labor-intensive intensive landscaping and towards having fun. <coughs> okay. Through Be Floridian Now, Volusia County gives presentations and attends community festivals and events throughout the county, uh, is facilitating training for commercial fertilizer applicators, and is developing landscape company and HOA outreach as well. Um, program topics have recently ranged from composting and building soil microbiology to reduce uh, stormwater runoff to the ways that supporting pollinators can uh, complement sustainable turf alternatives. No matter the angle, the message is clear. By reducing the inputs in our landscapes, we can protect our fun and our springs, rivers, and groundwater. Please see me afterwards if you know of a group or organization that may be interested in a presentation. So additionally, Be Floridian Now has developed partnerships with stores selling fertilizer across the county to implement flyers next to their fertilizer sections. This is because Volusia County has a ban on fertilizers containing nitrogen and phosphorus during the summer months from June 1st through September 30th. However, because the state still permits the sale of these fertilizers in the summer, even though the county bans their use, we are diligently working to spread awareness of the impacts these nutrients can have on water quality. This past summer, a local television station based in Orlando picked up on the story of these partnerships and did a television story with an estimated reach of 48,352. Around the same time, Volusia County posted on Facebook about algae blooms and rainy weather, and that single post had a reach of 43,600. These are just some examples of how this program is connecting with the community 
And the best part is new partnerships are being formed every day. So uh, in addition to the Be Floridian Now program, Volusia County has the Save Our Springs and Rivers educational series. Uh, this is funded through a 319 grant in which the funding comes from the Environmental Protection Agency and is managed by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. It responds to a need uh, outlined in multiple basin management action plans, or BMAPs, which are the blueprint, blueprint for restoring impaired waters by reducing pollutants. Uh, it is specific to the Blue Springs Spring Shed and it focuses on reducing septic tank nutrient discharge and fertilizer contamination into the groundwater, which account for 75% of the groundwater pollution affecting Blue Spring. It is a $240,000 grant uh, beginning in March of 2018 and ending in June of 2021. And there are three key components to this outreach effort. Uh, the first is low impact development workshops. There is some information about low impact development on the Green Volusia table out in the exhibitor area. Low Impact Development, or LID, is an approach to land development or redevelopment that works with nature to manage stormwater as close to its source as possible. It employs principles such as preserving and recreating natural landscape features, minimizing imperviousness, creating functional and appealing site drainage, and treating stormwater as a resource rather than a waste product. LID practices keep stormwater on site and can remove pollutants, prevent flooding, and benefit wildlife. Between August of 2018 and April of 2019, through this grant, we held four low-impact development workshops. Uh, topics discussed included LID concepts, examples, and advocacy strategies. Some of the examples discussed uh, included the permeable pavement in the amphitheater behind the Lyonia Environmental Center in Deltona and the rain garden at the University of Florida Extension Office in Volusia County. So the second component to this grant is the um, is a community-based social marketing program uh, that focuses on septic systems and nutrients. Uh, listed here are the uh, stages in this process, and we're currently in the campaign development stage. And uh, the third component of this grant is the Save Our Springs and Rivers Academies, which are hands-on, feet-wet academies that familiarize attendees with the Blue Springs Spring Shed and water quality issues and reinforce those concepts with personal experience, empowering attendees to understand their the water quality issues. Uh, in fact, we have an academy going on currently and some of those members are present here today. Uh, would you please raise your hands if you're in our current academy today? So in addition to the Be Floridian Now program, the Save Our Springs and Rivers Educational Series, Volusia County is also partnering with Barry University and the Center for Earth Jurisprudence on a grant from the Southeast Sustainable Communities Fund. This grant is specifically focused on the Spring Hill community here in DeLand and looks at resilience through green infrastructure as it applies to that community. We're working with the Spring Hill community to achieve this grant and adapting as needed to meet those needs. We're asking what do you currently know, what do you want to learn, and how do you want to learn it? And then additionally working with the community members to identify times in which that learning can happen within their community. Like with community-based social marketing, we're reaching out to the community to receive as much information as possible about what works for them. So in short, through these ways and others, Volusia County is working to value community input through its educational initiatives as Green Volusia. Thank you guys for your time.